Jimmy thinks I look like a weirdo. She said I looked beautiful with this. I can't believe you don't like it. Pretty painless. Uh, we paid 500 baht or 10 US dollars, so we escaped out of that one because it's a lot cheaper. You pay US money versus than bot. In and out, less than two minutes. They, get, they keep your passports, which is kind of weird, but standard procedure. We knew we knew that already. Due to so much cigarettes and Viagra with the combination. Whoa! You need to keep walking. We're in Burma, you guys. That's crazy, right? Like, it feels weird that we're in another country right now. So we're just gonna walk around the market for a bit. See what they have, see if we're finding anything, or see if maybe something for our wall, for our room. I feel like we're here, we need to get something. I heard uh, look on the forums that Burma actually has a pretty good whiskey stash. So this is 60 baht, which is $2 for this person. This is 100 baht, it's like four, what? Four, like four bucks. Yeah, so I'm gonna try this one. You gonna get you one? Manda, what are you doing? I'm getting my favorite green tea, my Thai green tea, with milk in a bag from this nice lady here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm going in, I'm just gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, surely it's safe ice, right? She got out of the bag. I know we're in Burma, but, you know, I'm not even ashamed. I'm, I'm gonna risk dysentery. Wow. So I don't usually buy things for myself, and so today I thought, well, I wanted to watch, and so, Oh, I also got Louis Vuitton bag, two walls at it. Yeah, he feels very fancy. Uh, but they got a, got a cool G-Shock watch. Um, and uh, started out at 850 baht, walked away 300 baht. Amanda and I are kind of disappointed that we got this market here, nothing traditional. We want traditional like Burmese like artwork or something that they can they can have we can have on our wall someday. Just trying to do all these collections of all the countries we've been we've been to and nothing. So really, I came to Burma and I just got tea in a bag. So I took a gamble. See, you know, everybody's trying to sell knockoff cigarettes, Marlboro cigarettes. And stuff. Well, I happened to see they have some homemade <laughs> Burmese. Cigars. It's like, it's like pipe tobacco, almost cherry, like it's a little Latakia in here and stuff. Four of them for a dollar. I'm gonna try a few cents a piece. I actually pro probably overpaid to tell you the truth, but whatever. We'll try them out. I'm a, I'll take a gamble. <laughs> And then the total was 10 baht, which is like 25 cents. Let's go try some new stuff. One of the things I wanted to try, I've been, we've been passing vendors all afternoon that have these little corn fritter things. And so this nice guy here had some. I'm gonna try one. Huh? Mm. It's basically like a corn funnel cake. Hmm. Okay. Savory. Not sweet, or crunchy, not too greasy. I gotta dig it. Burma is actually closer to India, so I have a little Indian influence in here. Good month. Ice cream! Tato. Tato and 
like spices. That's good. How are you doing back there? <laughs> you should see yourself right now. <laughs> it's like when you put your that stuff oh, on. Oh, she's got. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, so it like you wear it on this. Uh, I'm trying to walk one. It's all gold and like. See, she has it on. Yeah, yeah. Everybody cool does it. Yeah. I've seen other people with it. How much? This one, 150. 150. Whitening cream. You guys know I'm obsessed with makeup, and they ha I've seen ladies with this on their face. And I came across this really nice lady who showed me. So it's a whitening agent. So you wet your hand, and you rub this on your hand, and you put it on your skin like this, and it you wear it out in the sun. And they do that to whiten their skin. So naturally, I'm already super pale, and I but it's a cool like Burmese makeup thing that I want to have for my keepsake shelf so I got me one. It was two bucks. That's warm chestnuts. You cook them in the, this thing with the charcoal and they're freshly roasted chestnuts. She had me, she had me try them. The inside looks like this. Looks like an onion outside a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it does a little. Like an onion, but inside is a nut. Potato. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. Interesting. Y'all think this is a good look for me? Like, I kind of dig it. It's supposed to whiten your skin, so clearly I'm going to need to wipe this off when we get back to the hotel because I don't need to get any paler. But isn't that cool? Jimmy thinks I look like a weirdo. She said I looked beautiful with this. I can't believe you don't like it. Heading back back to Thailand. Myanmar was, was fun. Uh, I'm bummed they didn't have traditional stuff, but it was still really fun. And you know what? The people actually quite nice. Yeah, I just can't figure out why there's nothing that actually says like some Myanmar on it. I could want like a Myanmar souvenir to put in our house someday, and nothing. Kind of weird. All right, guys, leaving Myanmar. That was fun. Heading back where? Heading back to Thailand. Out. Out, out, out. Do you know if you bought your puppy? Yeah, I have it. There's, there you go. Always give up your change. Yes, I felt bad. Always give up your change. Always, always bring small bot change and give it up as you leave. Don't get shot, bro. What are we doing here? <laughs> He's gonna join his buddy, look. We're chilling. All right, going back in. Heat all the warnings. Say no to drugs. No ivory. Uh, what else we got here? No human trafficking. No human trafficking. I think that's the most important thing on this wall. All right, heading in. Well, we just got back through. We're officially back in Thailand, safe and sound, no problems, hangups or anything. One thing to note, though, because we came through two days before our original visa waiver was over. We lost two days on the new one. So instead of being January 17th to February 17th, it's January 17th to February 15th. So keep that in mind. If you we're going to renew, yeah, we're going to redo anyway, but uh, once we're in Chiang Mai again, because you can do it once in, in country. So let's do it a couple days. But it's a little more money. That's why we did it this way. It may not have been the best idea to let her put this all over my face. It's a nice shot to here. It looks like a man. I match everything. You're like a clown. What's your clown name? Chuckles? Sparkles. Sparkles. I am Sparkles. Sparkles. Get it right. Anyway, so right now, we are at the mother, northernmost tip of Thailand, the yeah. kingdom of Thailand. All in all, we're spending the evening here in Maesai, and it's going to be kind of, hopefully it's low-key. Yeah, not, if it's sure, crazy, we're, we're not leaving the hotel. The guy who was running the hotel said, just find out yourself, it's going to be what it's like. So I'm just going to be really boring or really exciting. Either way, we're going to find out in about a few hours here. Heading back now from the border, 
We have to go to the restroom. We have to relax a little bit. Our feet hurt. We've been walking in a while. But it uh, looks like the street here. See that? About to be popping. That thing right there. Those chairs right there behind us. Street side foot reflexology. And we're not really above that above that right now. Our feet are, are hurting. And uh, what do you say? I'm in. Okay, so I worked on editing a little bit. Very little bit. <laughs> I washed the stuff off my face and we took a nap. <laughs> now we're headed out for some dinner and maybe to get some reflexology on the street. Let's see how it goes. This whole road all along here up to the up to the border checkpoint, uh, all the stalls come out at night and everybody just stops. And you can see behind me, fires just like, literally just, just stop, stop over the street, the street and get what they want and then they keep going. So this is the border for Myanmar at nighttime. We're not crossing, we're staying on the Thai side, but that's what it looks like. We're pretty much the only foreigners that that you we've seen uh, yeah, around I think here. I think everybody does it one day. They, yeah, they come in the morning time, walk across, come back in, leave right back home by you know dinner we time. We would be home right now. So we want, to, we want to see what happens after everybody leaves. What happens to this town when the border closes? I think it closes around eight or ten. It's eight and seventeen right now. People so, are still crossing. Still crossing. So must be at ten o'clock. So really, they just set up a massive night market, and everybody buys things and eats. My kind of town. All right, guys. What do you think? Should I? Are you gonna do the bugs? I think so. Is it this and this and on it. Okay. Get those. I think so. These. Don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Get up. I cannot believe you're gonna do this. Oh my god. Um, even I draw the line at the bugs. Right? Let me see. Check it out. Get it in there. You got two sticks. Look at that. You gave us two sticks. I'm not gonna partake. Thank you. Thank you. So if we're gonna sit out front, drink my delicious Chang beer. It's just the best there is. He just likes it because there's elephants on it. Make it better. We were getting here earlier. I bought a snack, typical bar food, and mind you, there are two, two sticks in here for two people to enjoy these. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I did the loot. Do you see this? You like just. He put like peppers and stuff all over them, and then what they call Maggie sauce. Oh my god. Ew, Jimmy. Do it? Yeah. It's not that bad. Are you shitting me right now? No. Are you going in for another one like it's yeah. good? It's like, there's like a... Don't puke. Please don't puke. So they, put, they put some Maggie sauce, which is like a, like a salty soy sauce. And... Um, some like seasoning, I guess, uh, with pepper and salt, and uh, these are bad. They're kind, of, they're crunchy. They don't taste like anything really. I taste onion. Can't get the problem is you can't get it like pierce them. Mm-hmm. There's a big juicy one there. That one. You watch it down. Chang beer. You eat three. I could eat more if I wanted to. Oh. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It was man, Amanda out, so I guess I'm, I'm here by myself. So I'm gonna drink the rest of my Chang beer. I'm gonna try one of these cigars that I got when we were over in Myanmar. These are these are Burmese uh, cigars. It's pretty cool writing if you ever get a chance to look at the Thai difference between Thai language, Cambodian, and Burmese. It's all kind of cool. Not squiggly, but they have. American Eagle on the side, that was kind of funny as the emblem. I'm not sure what's in it. I hope there's nothing special or illegal in here. I haven't had a cigar in a long time. I've heard it's kind of a fun special treat for me. Yeah. Definitely not worth a quarter. If you're in the market for some Burmese cigars, I might pass. But for me, hope you guys have a good evening. No, this is bad.
you know, tell me every once in a long time. Don't forget, as always, to like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely check us out on Facebook and Instagram as well. We have up-to-minute updates there, too. So, see you guys. Thank you.